Man, what's up, y'all? So as y'all know, football season is here. But I'm going to give Stephen A. Smith his credit. Stephen A. Smith, in my opinion, is the greatest sportscaster, sports journalist, sports analyst of all time. You ever turn to ESPN and watch Stephen A. Smith talk about sports? He's so accurate and so precise and he's so full of knowledge when it comes to sports. And it seems like every sport. This dude know his stuff, man. I'm going to give the man credit why he's still here because most people don't. You ever turn to ESPN and watch him talk about sports? Don't talk about the 1985. Don't talk about Jerry Rice. He caught 650 passes. You don't even understand. He is one of the greatest of all time. Nobody has ever done it. And you know what I mean? This dude, sports-wise, I'm giving him his credit. He make it fun and entertaining. It was a segment that he had with LeVar Ball and... It had me borderline in tears. LeVar Ball was talking about oh, he was better than Michael Jordan. And, you know, Stephen A. Smith was like, just blast for me. You got to sit here and talk about where is your tapes at? It was hilarious, man. Stephen A. I, and I'm not even a sports guy. But Stephen A. Smith cracks me up, man. And he know, he know his stuff. I wish I did know sports like that. But I don't, I don't sit down and watch it long enough. Now, <laughs> leads me up to Antonio Brown. He's playing on the Patriots now got signed right he I, I can't speak down on nobody and i can't say nothing but what i can say is this i've met nfl players that felt like they was god's gift to women i've met nfl players that felt like people should bow down to their feet because they're in the building i don't know if he's like that so i can understand why people be like oh man antonio brown he this or that but i, I think a lot of these young guys just need to chill man you got endorsements you got you on top of the you on top of your game. Everybody looking at you. You can literally retire today and have a job tomorrow somewhere else, a commercial or whatever the case is. But um, y'all see he like got this, I guess this rape thing allegations that he's I guess tied up in now. So the girl's gonna come forward and the girl gonna like cooperate. My thing is that it's too many men that's arrested off of allegations, prove that the man did something wrong. I can't speak bad on nobody. Like like Stephen A. Smith would say, I cannot engage in character assassination because I don't know him. Let me know. Do y'all think he did it? Do y'all think he would have done something like that? Maybe some of y'all out there might have met the man before. I don't know. I don't really uh, care too much about it. I'm speaking on it because he is a great football player and and he, he does win games for his teams. So, um, yeah, man. I just want to say, uh, Antonio Brown, man, get right. You know, stay out of trouble. Because you can do a whole lot more, man. You can help a whole lot more people. Stay out of trouble. And I hope that it's all lies so he can move on with his life. Because if it's not, then now he, he kind of putting himself, setting himself back again. I'm not going to sit there and dog the man. Like I, I see all the people, all the comments flooding and what he said. I don't know the backstory of none of that stuff. So I can't get on him and say he shouldn't have said this, he shouldn't have did that. I don't know the whole story, so let me know what y'all thought. What y'all think about Antonio Brown? Y'all think he 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 trashed and they should just go ahead and release him? Or y'all think that, you know, um, they should look at the bigger picture? Let me know what y'all thought, man. Stephen Smith, man, you a funny dude, man. If you see this video, if not, it don't matter. You crack me up. I'm up out of here, man.